All right, CFO athletes, uh, welcome to October 3rd's after party. So you finished Saturday's team wad or not, and you maybe actually it's Sunday and you're doing an after party. You figure out this is going to be a good one. Actually, I, I'm really excited about this workout here. It's three giant sets of 30 seconds ring plank hold, 30 seconds ring mountain climbers, 30 seconds of kettlebell rushing twists, you need to rest one minute between the sets. It's a good core workout. Um, and for those who have rings and are able to uh, utilize the ring plain code and ring mountain climbers, it's going to be uh, a really good core stabilizing. So uh, let's just try to get a good angle from here. So I apologize if it's not the best angle. I've been trying to practice the best spots for it. But uh, from this point of view, it's good if you have a set of rings, you can hang it off a pull-up bar, uh, a branch, whatever you decide to do. Uh, you can also elevate your feet if you need to, or you could just have it just right above there, whichever way you engage your core and keep that arch hollow positioning. So ring plank code, like how our typical planks, except now you get to use the, instabil the instability of the rings to really engage the core. So you're just gonna put your Hands in a ring like you would in a ring position. Go up your toes, engage that core, keep that arch hollow. Suck in that belly. You can see a lot of shaking going on. This is a really good 30 second hold. Once you've completed your 30 second hold that way, mountain climbers, you get to face the other direction. Put your feet through the rings. I have to keep it on the balls, on the top of my toes. And from here, arch hollow position, keep the core engaged, and then you're gonna bring your knees towards your chest. Like so, alternate. Keeping that nice core engaged, arch hollow. 30 seconds of these guys. And once you finish 30 seconds of those guys, kettlebell Russian twist. Uh, feel free to use a plate or a dumbbell if you have, or a kettle or a, a ball, uh, let me go grab a, grab a dumbbell. So, twists are nice. We're gonna stay on the tailbone of your body. You can stay lifted, keep your toes lifted off the ground a little bit, your heels off the ground. From here, you're just gonna twist from one side to the other with the weight. If you choose not to use a weight, you can just use your hands, twist and keep that. Keep the heel off the ground. Now, for modifications, if you don't have a ring, um, a regular plain coat will be sufficient as well. You can probably decide to add some more seconds. If you need to add another 15 seconds off the plain coat to make it more difficult, so if you do that, you can think about doing shoulder taps, shoulder taps on the same side, nice and slow and controlled. Every second with these guys. Do that as well. Mountain climbers, you can do mountain climbers from your plank position as well. And again, it's just keeping, alternating your feet. Bring your knees towards your chest. And if a Russian twist, again, you can do just the hands alone. If you need some support, you keep the heels on the ground if you need to, and then do your twist as well for 30 seconds. Um, whichever way you want to do, it's very good. Three giant sets, don't forget to rest the one minute between the sets. All right, have a great after party, and we'll see you guys next week.